Hey, hello everyone. Here in front of me, I've got the Volkswagen ID bus from Hot Wheels and Majorette. And uh, I'm going to compare both of these models. Um, yeah, this is the packaging from Hot Wheels with a nice picture of the Volkswagen ID bus short card. Yes, it's from the Hot Wheels Green Speed, which means it's an electric car. Here we got the back. Not sure uh, in what cases this Hot Wheels was available, but lucky for me, I found one. And then we have this one from uh, Meteorette, a premium car, which means it comes with a suspension, opening part, licensed vehicle, metal body, good interior, which is very important, I think, and side mirrors, also important, lensed, front lights. So a lot of car for your money and it comes with a nice card with some specs. We're going to check that uh, right away. Here we got the back. See, you can see it's a, a licensed vehicle barcode, article number. And a lot of text, freeze the frame if you want to read it. Okay, let's start with the one from Hot Wheels. So very good rolling wheels. I like the rims on it. Nice painting, no opening parts. Uh, transparent roof, yeah. Uh, side mirrors, which is also a good thing. That's not always the case with uh, Hot Wheels cars. Painted front lights, but they look really good. No license plate here in the front. And uh, ID bus license plate in the back. Would be cool if it was German license plate. They do that with the Audi and with a couple of other cars. Makes it a little bit more realistic. Windscreen wiper molted in the glass. Looks like some damage here. On the window and the top antenna here. I like those uh, stripes. Then we got the base, plastic base. That's normal for a uh, mainline Hot Wheels. Yeah, no normal screws and no profile on the tire. So overall, I think it's a pretty cool car. Let's have a look at the interior. So the back seats are looking good. Uh, can we have a look in the back? Oh, this is the back. That's no accessories or whatsoever. Seats in the front. Looks like uh, bucket seats. Sport seats also okay. Mm, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Dashboard. I think it's best to do it like this. Wait a minute. So, this is the best way to do it. So yeah, ugly steering wheel. That's a big minus for this car. Uh, that's not necessary with the technique from nowadays. And if you have these transparent windows all over the side, I think it's very important to have a good looking interior. Oh, there's also a hole. You can see my finger. Yeah, but um, yeah, except for that steering wheel, everything looks okay to me. Yeah, really nice ID bus. As long as you don't look at the steering wheel. And I believe it's a 164 skill, but I don't see any skill here on the base. Meh, don't like that. Okay, then we got the one from Midret. Like I said, this is from the premium cars. Nice packaging. And we also have this card right here. Like I was saying, with 
some information. Always cool that Meteorette has a card like this. Unfortunately, no uh, Meteorette book to keep these cards. Uh, some sort of Meteorette collector's book where you can place these cards. Anyways, nice picture of the Volkswagen ID bus here in the front. And here we got the specs with a picture of the Meteorette Volkswagen ID bus. It says premium. And here the range, battery size, power, speed, 0 to 100 in 10.2 seconds. I thought it was a little bit faster. The weight, yeah, it's an electric car, so it weighs a lot. And the torque. Yeah, I think it's a very cool looking bus. Also, uh, not only the model cars, but also the one in real life. Okay, so here we got the one from Mijerat. A little bit bigger than the one from Hot Wheels. Going to uh, place them next together. So we seen this one. So yeah, lensed headlights, nice Volkswagen logo. There is something that looks like a license plate. So there is room to put a license plate on. Painted grill. Uh, big suspension. Whoa, check this. Now it's a low rider. <laughs> nice tornado wheels. And they're rolling really well. Big side mirrors nice big dashboard and a metal roof i like that and yeah here we got the opening part and we can already have a look inside yeah closes really well yeah maybe the only thing you can complain about is this hole if you close the side door there is no window in the side door but i think that's to take it out a little bit easier. So they thought well about that. Yeah, closes really well. And it opens also very smoothly. Then we got a tow bar in the back. And that's a good thing because I think that means that in the future, this vehicle will be available with something behind it, a cool caravan camper trailer or a boat or something like that so that is very cool also windscreen wiper molded in the glass nice Volkswagen logo yeah. see here is the window in the side no opening part so the no window on the other side is Definitely for uh, open it up. Okay, then we got the interior, very wide interior with a nice steering wheel. That makes it so much better. And here in the back would be cool if there was some stuff, accessories. But yeah, that's not a minus to me. It's just a improvement point. That should be possible for the future. Then we got the base with some information and we see it's very close to a 164 scale. This is 165. So that means that, um, yeah, we've seen it all. Some profile on the tires. And that it's official licensed by uh, Mijeret. So we've seen it all. Now let's place it next together. And you can see that the Volkswagen ID bus from Hot Wheels is a lot smaller. Is it a true 164? I can't tell you. I'm not 100% sure. Here we got the front. And the one from Mijerat has a little bit more body with uh, the paint right here. Although this is... Uh, metal yeah this is also metal but they paint those uh, black B grill I think that looks a little bit better also the lensed headlights are a little bit cooler the double stripe here the yellow black white black yellow 
looks a little bit better on the on the one from Hot Wheels. Then we go to the side. Yeah, I think the side on both look very good. Yeah, you can say this is not my type or this is not my type of wheel. I prefer the one from Hot Wheels or I prefer the one from Majorette. That's a, a personal choice. I think both rims are looking cool. Uh, yeah, the opening part is a big plus point for uh, the one from Midret. But uh, yeah, like I said, you can complain about this hole, this gap. It still is very cool. Uh, then we go to the back. Yeah, they both have uh, a nice back. Both good painted rear lights. Both Volkswagen logo is also cool. Uh, yeah, here they have an uh, license plate ID bus, and this is a tow bar. You can say it's a little bit bulky tow bar, but uh, if you look at it as a toy for a kid, I think this is a really good tow bar, and definitely better than the one from Maisto. Um, here the windscreen wiper is a little bit better. This one is a little bit too small and I think this one is a little bit too big. Okay, there is some damage but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Hot Wheels doesn't get a minus for that. Yeah, here both are looking good from the side. Um, yeah, you can say I... Well, I have to say I like the white roof a little bit more that it's metal this one is feels also uh, they pretty much wait a minute wait a minute back in a sec i'm going to get something that could be interesting okay i am back and let's put this one i think the one from hot wheels is a little bit heavier let's see 40 gram 39 gram, 40 gram, and this one should be heavier with the metal uh, roof. 41, they're almost the same. 40, 39. 41, 41 gram. Okay, so they're uh, pretty close uh, together. Base. Yeah, I like it that the scale is uh, on the one from Midred. So I missed that with uh, the one from Hot Wheels. But uh, yeah, I like them both. They're both really good. Uh, Midred has, has a little bit advantage with the uh, with the opening part. Uh, let me uh, know in the comments what is your favorite and what do you think about these uh, two models. Thanks for watching. Bye.